mighty, mighty move of God. Amen, amen. Let's talk about some of the things that happened on yesterday. You know, Brother Sister Johnson. Helen, what we've been seeing this entire weekend, this entire revival is nothing but the works of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, hitting on the mandate that Apostle and Prophetess were given concerning the fire revival, the people of Georgia and great of America have been introduced to the greater works of Christ. I don't know if many of you guys were tuned in last My night. My God. But Sister Helen, creative miracles unspeakable. You know, the scripture talks about by his stripes we are healed. And a multitude Jesus. of people came to the altar yes. to get rid of, to believe in God, to deliver them from their afflictions. Yes. And Sister Helen, when you believe, yes. many people, can you imagine nine years being bound to a walker? It was unbelievable. You know, before this conference started, yes. we spoke about it on opening day. That's right. Out of the mouth of the prophet, yes. prophet has declared that people would get out of their wheelchairs, out of their wheelchairs. that the lame would walk. Amen. And my God, did we not see the manifestation of that on last night? Yes. It started with one. That, yes. It started with one. And by faith, she stood up. Prophet has said, rise up and walk. Amen. And one woman stood up. And then she said, is there a point of reference? Yes. And oh my God, yes. the woman who was healed in New York, Amen. who had been paralyzed, she came and she encouraged the body. That's and right. And it continued. It was fire. Spread like wildfire. Oh As you God. said, it took one spark. And everybody began to claim their healing, their deliverance. And even the word of God declares, you know, he would do nothing in this earth but, it, but reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So powerful. And so by the word, the mouth of a prophet, you know, the people are got to be healed and delivered. So we're going to take you outside just to give you more recap of what you can expect on this resurrection weekend. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor you, mighty God. We honor your name, mighty God. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Hallelujah, mighty God. Jesus. We give you praise. We give you worship. We give you honor. We give you glory, mighty God. We Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your Hallelujah. name. We bless Hallelujah. your name. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, mighty King, thank hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, mighty God. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Ah, hallelujah. yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God, as ah. we have heard, so yes. much has been happening Amen. during this fire revival weekend. And listen, today oh, yes. is Easter Resurrection my Sunday. God. And the power and presence of God will be in full Amen. demonstration today in the name of Jesus. Listen, our apostle and prophetess are coming power-packed with so much. So much will be happening, Minister Jeff, today. My God. It is also our communion Sunday. Yes. And people are already in the sanctuary by scores preparing for communion. It's also our water Sunday. The prophetess oh, yes. has instructed us to get the Engedi water. Amen. She'll be praying for the prayer tools, yes. the prayer um, mats, Amen. the prayer shawls. Yes. All these things are available today. And I'm telling you, listen, we are in expectation Amen. of a mighty move of God on this Easter resurrection Sunday. Come on, tell us what can we expect oh my further God. today in Oh Jesus my name. God. It's like a buffet table has been spread. I mean, from the start, Friday, yes. early, Friday morning was so powerful. It went up another notch on Friday night. I mean, I'm telling you, today is no doubt. It is Resurrection Sunday. On, yes. We are expecting the dead to rise. We are expecting those that are broken in heart yes. to be renewed, to in be Jesus restored. Name. We are expecting the glory of God to manifest. Absolutely. Just as Jesus rised, rose from the dead on that day, yes. we are expecting dead situations to go away and for new life to come. In we Jesus are name. inviting all of you, if you're there, if you're here in the region, yes. in this area, the Georgia area, come. Come on right. down. We are here and we are ready to see you today, expecting a mighty move of God. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. In Jesus We're now going to send it over to our social media. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Well, well, people of God, as my colleague said, there were numerous accounts of healings, deliverances on yesterday, and today we expect nothing less. Amen? So the atmosphere is charged. The people of God are ready for what is about to happen today. But just before we go into the service, I want to invite you. Do the work of an evangelist. Like, comment, and share this broadcast. Subscribe to Maddie Nottage TV. Amen? Keep your expectations high. Keep your faith wide as we go into the powerful move of God on today. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Baba, by the Rosso, Aiden and the Nessie, Aiden and the Rosso, Oh, Baba, by the Rosso, Aiden and the Nessie, Aiden and the Rosso, 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 Aiden and the Rosso,
of his presence. Are you thirsty for his power? Are you thirsty for deliverance? Whatever you need, for him. He's the one that can provide all that you need. Worship him on this morning. Just because of who he is. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Yeah. With us before you, Lord. With us before, with us before. Jesus, I do. I thirst for more. 
give you God praise. More of you, Lord Jesus. Come on and bless the name of Jesus. More of you, Lord Jesus. Come on and give him the glory that he's due. Hallelujah. He is our resurrected Lord. Oh, yes, hallelujah. He is our resurrected King. Yes, he is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift up your praise in this house. Worship and press. Oh my God! Yes, 
Hallelujah. We give our God all the glory because he's indeed worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Now, this is the opportunity that we give for you yes. to do the work of our evangelist. Oh, my God. Go ahead and take your seat. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Go ahead, people of God. Take your seats. And as you take your seats, take all your devices, take all your cell phones, and throw out the lifeline. Do the work of an evangelist. There's someone in your contacts, someone there in your phone that needs to hear this word today. Send it to everyone in your contacts. Let no one escape. Let them know that the word of God is coming forth with power on this resurrection Sunday. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we always say, somebody out there still needs to know oh, yes. that Jesus still saves oh my God. to the utmost. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it does not matter where you are. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. His grace yes. and his love his power can reach you right where you are the blood that was shed thousands of years ago it still speaks today hallelujah Hallelujah. and somebody needs to know they do not have to stay in their bondage they do not have to stay bound but Jesus died shed every drop of blood in his body but he rose again hallelujah Hallelujah. with resurrection power hallelujah and now we have a right to that same power. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, the power, he said, I've given you power. Uh, over all. Over all the powers of the enemy. Oh and nothing shall by any means harm you. Amen. Aren't you glad for your Savior oh, this yes. morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let somebody else know. Amen. And even as you're doing the work of a global evangelist, yes. we also give you that opportunity, amen, to share in the house. Amen. Let somebody know, amen, what God has done for you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And if there's been something that has touched you, even during this revival, amen. even during the ministry of our apostle and our prophet, yes. somebody needs to know, amen. amen. They are looking for their connection. Uh, yes. They are looking for their Naomi. Come on. Hallelujah. They are looking for their spiritual covering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can let them know that because you're connected amen. to an altar of fire and power, oh, yes. your life has been changed. Hallelujah. And God can change their life. Amen. So we invite you to come now. Amen. Yes. And testify to our right. Amen. Yes. Your left. Look at that. She's, She's waving. waving. Hallelujah. She's Hallelujah. She's Glory excited. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So amen. And she will receive you. Amen. And help you. Amen. Oh my God. We've just got so much that's been happening. Oh my God. Oh my God. The miracles. The deliverances. Jesus. And you've seen people walking out of wheelchairs. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. For the first time in years. Jesus. Oh my God, unprecedented miracle. Oh my God. We give God praise and glory. Hallelujah. Many of those women, they walked out of their wheelchairs, oh, never to return again. Healed by the power of the Almighty oh, God. Yes, there's healing in this house, people. Hallelujah. Come on, there's deliverance in this house. Yes. Hallelujah. And we cannot forget yes. the souls. Oh my God. <laughs> The reason the Jesus told us, yes. the reason Jesus, the greatest miracle of all, yes. salvation, I'm telling you people of God, many people have come to the altar since this revival began. There's been a great in, in gathering of the people of God, and that's why Jesus died, that we may come to him, that we may be saved, and that we may live a life that is pleasing unto our Father. That is the reason Jesus died to save our souls. So come on and give God praise. Come on and clap your hands for salvation. The greatest miracle of all. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Just to see those people so broken. Yes. Hallelujah. Coming to the altar. Amen. And the word of the Lord declares, he said, if I be lifted up, uh, and I know he was speaking about the death that he would die. Yes. But if we can just lift him up right now, Amen. we're not putting him back on a cross, Hallelujah. but we are lifting him up with our praise. Yes. We are lifting him up, amen, with our worship. Yes. And as we lift him up from this earth, amen, yes. hallelujah. He said, I will draw all men unto myself. And so the evidence of the fact that he was lifted on this weekend are the souls that came yes. into the kingdom of God. Yes. Come on, hallelujah. give God praise. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe the angels in heaven are still rejoicing. Oh my God. Because there were so many people that came many people. and gave their lives to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're part of greatness. Amen. Yes. You are part of an altar. Amen. Yes. That speaks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Glory be unto God. And we are so grateful, amen, amen. for what God is doing. And I believe the overflow. <laughs> oh, my God. The overflow. Come on, all of you that are from this state, from the state of Georgia, come on. Make some noise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. You have been on God's mind. God has sent the apostle and the prophet into this state up to establish yes. a mighty work. Come on. You will be a part of it. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh my God. I think the whole auditorium erupted on last night. My God. Hallelujah. This is not the end. Amen. But this is just the beginning. Only the beginning. All Atlanta. Woo. Revival fire yes. is here. God. Oh my God. And so we will be having our overflow, amen, oh on this Friday, April yes. the 5th. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And as we said, we want to see each and every one of you amen. right there. Amen. Oh my God. We're going to have to lengthen our cords oh <laughs> and strengthen our stakes, amen. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Because so many of you responded. Yes. And like we said, this is just the beginning, Atlanta. Oh my God. The revival fire. Woo! Is here in Atlanta amen. and all of the surrounding states. We invite you to come, amen, and be a part. And what that means, yes, we will be having weekly services. Uh, weekly services right here in Atlanta. Hallelujah. Come on, Atlanta, are you excited? Yes. Glory be unto God. We give God praise for the visionaries, our pastors, and they're carrying each and every one of us. Amen. They're carrying our deliverance. Oh, yes, hallelujah. They're carrying our miracles. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we give God praise Jesus. for our divine connection even to them. Amen, Amen in Jesus' name. Jesus. Now, have you already sent out your links? Uh, have you already dropped your comments? Yes. Oh, I got some thumbs up. Come on, give God praise for yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Amen. And we are ready, hallelujah, Amen. to begin Amen, with our testimonies. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. We give God thanks and praise. Amen. But just before we go into our testimony, yes. I mean, our young people are like, don't forget about us. Oh my God, hallelujah. We, I can't believe. Oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all give God praise. Yes, hallelujah. June the 24th yes. through the 28th. That's our day camp, amen. amen. That's five to 12 years old. Yes. Listen, get your kids registered. Get them signed up. Get them signed up, amen. Yes. For Camp amen. Believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they're still talking about yes. Camp Believe from last year, wow. amen. So make sure that they're part this year. Amen. And the sleepaway camp starts June the 30th to July the 7th, amen. amen. And that's for our older kids. Amen. And yes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for all of those days, our apostle uh, and our prophet yes. will be sleeping, amen. Yay. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. They're gonna be there as well at the camp. My God along with many of us volunteers Amen. and listen it's such a powerful time my young people get a chance to be young people yes our apostle and our prophet impart wisdom and knowledge into them they get deliverance oh my god it's such a powerful time so make sure that you register for camp believe i believe i believe in camp believe and as we continue <laughs> women of fire and power come on my sisters come on give god a shout the women of fire and power oh, come on ladies hallelujah jesus Let me you make some noise, make some noise. <laughs> The Women of Fire and Power Woo! Conference. It all comes up. It all starts May the 9th and continues on through the 12th of May. Make your plans to be there. This is the time we set aside to celebrate our spiritual mother. Prophet is talked to Maddie Knowledge. And every woman, if you, even if you're not a mother, simply because of the fact of that you're a woman, Prophet is, is she's a blessing to everyone. There will be something there for everyone. Make your plans to be a part of that service there in South Florida. Amen. Amen. Come on, we're giving you the day so that you can mark your calendars. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to continue with your believers' faith Woo! experience? Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear you give God praise. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We will continue now with our in-house testimonies. Testify. Go ahead and testify. Good morning, Saints. Good morning. My name is Ashley Nanton. I'm from Dominica, but now I reside in Connecticut. 20 years ago, but before I go that far, I want to give God, the God, the mighty God, all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. But you know why? For apostles and for prophetess. 
Amen. Let me tell you, I knew that ministry from 2018. I say, she real? And I tell you, I get hooked. But 20 years ago, I suffered a fracture. I didn't know. I really didn't know. I hope I said, okay, I'm going to work. But when I got to Connecticut in the snow, Jesus, foot swelling and I cannot walk. I said, Lord, and the doctor said, the only thing we can do is to break your foot. I said, Doc, are you going to pay my rent? I said, my God, I have a God. But I came here because I was tired and tired and frustrated because my both feet start to swell. I said, no, God, this is not good. But lo and behold, when I lie on the ground, I say, God, do not send me back the same way I come. And when prophetess put a word and we, uh, they were running, I said, I don't care if I hurt I put my foot, I put my mind, I put my face, and I started to run. When I see I started to run, I said, Jesus, let's go with me. I run, and I run, and I run. Now, to God, I give glory. Because after all these years, only God know. Only God know the pain. And watch that. Three, three days ago, I bought something for my foot that cost me over five hundred dollars but look that altar that fiery altar come on gave me what i desired so long i give god praise and glory for apostles and prophetess 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 you have a love that only god gave you and nobody can take it so you point out on us and i receive it I receive the love from apostles in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise for that testimony. Thank you, Jesus. My God, such a powerful, powerful yes. deliverance. Amen. To God be all the glory. Oh my God. I mean, she ran and ran. Yes. Could not run for years. 20 years. Over 20 years. Yes. And God healed her. Hallelujah. Just one touch. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, let's continue now. Yes. First, I want to thank God. Hallelujah. And I want to thank um, Apostle and Prophetess Maddie Nottage, just thanking God for them because I flew out to Fort Lauderdale last year. My name is Crystal and I'm from Georgia. And when I went there, I was with my sister and I, um, I was getting ready to leave and something told me to put $2 on the altar. It might not mean much to you, but to me at first I was like, $2, I already paid my tithe. But I went ahead and did it. I made it to the altar and laid the $2 there. Didn't know my son and my daughter was gonna come back with me. And um, prophetess prophesied to my son, and I don't, I know some of you remember, she kept calling out, Joel, Joel, Joel. And when she called my son's name out, I brought him forth, and she told my son, you will excel in sports. Do you know, that was just the end of last year. My son is excelling in sports. And uh, the coach came out on last, uh, a couple of weeks ago and said, uh, your son is just excelling in sports. He's a star, and so many people already know his name. And I want to thank God for this fiery altar, for me putting $2 on the altar. And it got me a long way, because Prophet has taught me how to pray. And I've been praying that God just keep excelling my son, because I stood on the word like Maddie told us to pray. And I just thank God that she did that for me. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. The obedience of that mother, $2, insignificant to many of us. Just the obedience, trust God and believe God on today. Hallelujah. We'll continue with our testimonies. Hallelujah. Good morning, believers. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a burning testimony. First of all, I want to give praise and glory to the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, love of my soul. And I want to give honor to Apostle Edison Nottage and Prophetess Matty Nodges for just being obedient to God and starting this ministry and pouring into us. I had a miracle last evening. I just want y'all to know, prophetess said last evening that there is, we, we had a session about pain, pain in the body. And she specifically said that there's somebody here with pain in the leg and you've been taking medicine, prescription, 
muscle relaxant. And let me tell you something. I had surgery January 8 in my stomach. It had nothing to do with my leg. And from January 8, I've been experiencing pain in my right leg so bad that I had to go to the doctor and they would check up on me and they would say, you know, your stomach is fine. But I would say, but what about the foot? And they would be like, oh, well, maybe it's um, arthritis. So they gave me medicine and I took the medicine. I said, no, it's not arthritis. I went back again. I said, what about the foot? She said, okay, well, go to the podiatrist, go to the foot specialist. Went to the foot specialist, the foot specialist said, maybe it's some um, inflammation. I said, well, what's inflammation? You sure y'all didn't sever a nerve? She said, no, maybe it's inflammation. So they gave me prescription. This is my second bottle, 800 milligrams ibuprofen so I could have some relief in my foot. And let me tell you something, when I heard about the revival coming here, I told my sister, y'all call her Tishia, Tisha, I said, I prophesy that when I step foot into this building, I am not leaving the same way I came. Amen. And I prophesy that I will not be having this foot issue anymore. And when prophecy said that, I felt that burning, it rised up my leg because it started on the bottom, it went to the calf, then it went here, then it went to the butt, and I, I left last night. My sister said, did you receive your healing? I said, I'm still being healed in Jesus' name. And let me tell you, this morning was the first time that I ever woke up since January 8th with no pain in this leg, no pain. And I just wanna give God the praise, all the glory, all the honor. That was the last tablet last night. And God said he was gonna heal me and he did. So I came to seal it with my testimony today. So I give God all the praise, glory and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God. My God. Come on, give God praise. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that's the honor of the Lord. Yes. How many testimonies have we heard? So many. Oh my God, so, so many people that sustaining injuries, amen. Yes. Going to the doctor, amen. And even as our apostle and our prophet is always saying, the doctors have their place, yes. amen. Hallelujah. But how many of you know there's some things, amen, that the doctors cannot do? My God. Oh, my God. Yes. And they come to the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus is right there. God to meet that need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Because Jesus. we've got an activated altar, amen, yes. that speaks and that fights on their behalf, amen, to perform that miracle. Yes. So we give God praise. Come on. Give God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go to our next testimony. Testify. Good morning, believers. Good morning. My name is Arlene, and I'm coming from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I want to give God thanks for the end of my life. I want to also give thanks to uh, um, Apostle Dr. Ed Nardes and Prophet is my spiritual mother. Uh, um, my testimony started from Thursday morning. Um, I left out 3.30 Thursday morning to drove all the way down here. Okay, um, I turned back two and a half miles later, I realized uh, um, I don't have my driver's license. Um, I turned back. Uh, uh, um, I searched over half an hour searching for my driver's license. I could not find it. I said, the devil is a liar. I prayed in my car and I asked God, to get me here safe and sound without a driver's license. I drove over 11 hours with God guiding me, guiding me here. Um, I drove an hour each morning from Covington, Georgia to here every morning. God taking me here safe and sound. I am part of the 6 a.m. prior, I am a global member, and God is good. Prophetess, she located me yesterday. She called out Harriet. That is my surname. Oh my God. I, um, I came up, she said, is Harriet your name? I said, yes. She delivered me from which crab from Obia tormented my god from 
the gates of entrance. My family, I was trembling. My whole body was on fire. I could not stay still yesterday. She delivered my whole family. I thank God I bless her. Hallelujah. This morning, I got up. I have not sit down yet. God released the anointing over my body. It's like I'm renewed. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you, Providence. I love you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God, we give God praise, amen, performing yes. miracles. And as she said, through a word of knowledge, yes. amen, the woman of God called her last name. Hallelujah. It's the first, the middle, or the last. Amen. You answer to it. Oh my God. And so we give God praise. Now she's walking in her deliverance, Hallelujah. her healing for her family. Amen. Oh, come on and bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will continue now with our in our testimonies. Testify. Testify. Good morning, believers. My name is Erica. I'm from Belleville, Illinois. I want to thank God for being here this morning. I want to thank and honor Apostle and Prophetess. I thank God for this fiery altar that I am connected to. And I thank God for my deliverance on yesterday evening. I just thank and praise God because prophetess kept calling out mental illness. My family is plagued with mental illness. And she kept calling it out and I received healing for my family. I can't Hallelujah. be standing here, hallelujah, this whole weekend in proxy for my family. She called out the strong man. She called out bloodline curses. She said we are family missed the opportunities. And I just want to thank God, hallelujah, for our deliverance that my family, with me being here, I received from my family this weekend. Thank you, prophetess. Thank you, apostle. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Isn't that powerful? Oh my God, Brother Ryan, I know that you were here. Oh my God, wasn't that just a mighty, mighty, mighty miracle? It is indeed a mighty miracle of God. Come on, people of God, all across this sanctuary, you are too dead on a resurrection day. Jesus. Our God is performing supernatural miracles Hallelujah. in the lives of God's people. Hallelujah. Miracle accounts of people being delivered from all kinds of mental conditions, tormenting spirits. You should give God praise. Oh that is a personal experience. You know when you have been freed from that spirit. So come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Now, Mama, testify. What is God doing in your life? Amen, amen, amen. Brother amen. Brother, I want to give God honor and uh, glory I also want to give honor to Apostle uh, Dr. Matt, um, Edison Nottage, Apostle um, Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. I, my testimony today is I was in a place of stagnation. I wasn't flowing in the spirit as in prayer at first as an intercessor. I wasn't, I, I just wasn't moving. So, I, and I know uh, when you're in that place, uh, you, oh, your spirit can be accessible to so many different things. And I, I ended up having a pain, and I was told it could be my, my pancreas. But nevertheless, I had an appointment on the 28th before I came here to the doctor, and I said, well, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go believe in God. But Amen. before this point, oh, come on, people of God, that's all of the Lord. Woo. Come on, let's give God praise for our apostle. Yes. Talk to others and notice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's man of faith and power. Oh, yes. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue yes. with your testimony. Amen. And before the point of, before, okay, um, I was in Houston. I went to a revival in Houston, and, and Prophetess, she was walking through, and she came, and she touched me, and she was shaking me. She was shaking me. I knew at that time, I didn't know that the spirit of stagnation was on me until later. So with my spirit being open to so many different things, last night, um, last night because of this pain, 
I thank God because of the pain that I had because last night after the prophetess called my mother and uh, my mother's name and she called that pain for us to go forth and to, um, for us to come up for prayer. I went back to my seat and the pain intensified. But I woke up this morning and all the pain was gone. I just Hallelujah. Seen, Hallelujah. I, I received, also I received the healing for my mom and myself. It was just, and I thank God because today is resurrection, resurrection Sunday. And I, and I feel as someone who has new life. Because if you're in a place of stagnation, the spirit of heaviness is upon you and you don't know. So I give God glory for this altar because if it wasn't for this altar, I don't. Th I think I would still be walking around in a dead state. So thank God for that, and I'm rejoicing as someone who has found great spoils. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow! Come on, give God praise for that testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory for every miracle that He performs. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to continue now. Amen. With our in-house testimony. Almighty God, um, who all things are possible, um, giving homage to Apostle and Dr. Daddy Nottage. Um, since I'm going to make it real brief, real quick, I've been searching and searching and searching for a home. God has been calling me, talking to me, and I've been just doing my own thing, ignoring the call. And one day I turned on YouTube. Dr. Maddie Nottage came on. She said, Atlanta, I'm coming for you. And all I heard was God saying, Kenesha, I'm coming for you. Amen. I have been searching for a home, searching for a home, searching for a home. I came out on Friday night. She made an altar call came up and I said, God, I'm here and I'm here for you. And I, and I recommitted my life on Friday. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm ready and I'm, I'm here. Thank you, Lord. And last night when she said, she talked about the building, the church, if I were to have a ministry who would come and I know this is God saying yes. this is your time yes. this is your journey come on and I'm just here to say God I'm here to serve you yes. thank you Lord that's my testimony bye God bye God oh Atlanta it's your time yes Atlanta bye it's God. your turn hallelujah oh my God are you ready yes Woo. hallelujah BFM who am I Loma, my God. Atlanta, Hallelujah. we give God praise, amen, for what he's doing, hallelujah. Yes. We're so excited, amen, my to God. see our God move, amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Brother Ryan. Yes. Back to you. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, God is doing it, Minister Kim. Yes. Look at this living, breathing, yes. walking, talking, yes. moving miracle. Yes. This woman came in here with a walker. Jesus. Oh, mama, come and testify. My God. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I'd like to give glory to God. Yes. Thank God so much, so much. And I'd like to give um, honor to Apostle Edison Knowledge and Prophetess Maddie Knowledge. Amen. Um, when I came yesterday, um, I came to the service, I was delivered. I was delivered from just all over body pain. I came in with a walker, I had a cane, and yesterday I was just delivered, and I just thank God so much. I just thank, I woke up this morning, I was pain free. I'm just, I'm just, I'm still, yes, I'm still trying Woo! to just process this, and just, I, I just thank God, I just thank God. I feel new, I feel different, I Come feel on. so different. Testify. And I thank prophetess so much for praying for me. Um, yesterday before I left home, I was just saying, God, uh, something got to change, something got to change, something got to change in my life. And I'm so glad 
that our prophet is delivered me. Amen. And I just thank you so much. Hallelujah. Mama, you can walk. You can walk. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh -oh. oh, look uh -oh. at Jesus. Look oh, at Jesus. my gosh. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus, y'all. Oh, my God. Congratulations. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory, Amen. the miracles, the signs, the wonders, uh, the demonstrations, yes. the souls that are being saved. Hallelujah. This is a sign of revival. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. And so we give him all the praise yes. and all the glory. Amen. Amen. And I mean, and I saw that lady, I saw her walking onto the elevator. And I said, oh my God, is there yet a miracle for this woman? Oh my God. Oh my God. And he answered, you, your Jesus. deliverance, yes. your miracle, yes. your healing yes. is here. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to leave. The same way that you came. Oh my God. The word of the Lord declares, be it unto you, amen. According, According to your faith. Amen. What are you believing God for? Oh my God. What are you believing God for? Oh my God. Amen. Don't leave here without it. Hallelujah. Don't leave here without it. Amen. amen. Come on, let's give God praise one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, let's honor the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We will continue now. Amen. Back to you, Brother Ryan. Hallelujah. Um, I'm giving honor to God, which yes. is the head of my life. Giving honor to God for a prophetess and apostle and this fiery altar. I just thank and praise God for just being here for this fiery altar um, revival. And it was a sacrifice and God fixed it for me to come. And I told God, when I come here, I'm not going back home the way I came. There you go. There has to be a difference. There has to be a change in my life. Come on. And last night was my change. Last night was Woo. my turnaround. Hallelujah. Last night was my new beginning. There you go. And I thank God for that. And Prophet just prayed for me and she touched me. And when I when I came here, um, I had just had an MRI done at the doctor's office. They said I had spinal stenosis, two bulging discs, um, hip bone on bone, and I was popping pills like mad crazy because I couldn't get the pain to go away. And, and trying to move and trying to work, and I was on with, with, with a roller tour everywhere I went, and, 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 um, and if I went in the house, I went limping in a cane because I'm in the medical field, and I told God, this has to be a new beginning for me. And when prophetess prayed for me, and when she prophesied to me, she told all my business, but you know what? That was a deliverance for me. There you go. That was a deliverance for me. Come on, that's when you don't all care. The junk, Come on. All the gunk, yes. all the uncleanness, all the unforgiveness. And when she said that about my past, and you know, a lot of times you sweep it underneath the rug because you figure if I sweep it underneath there, I don't have to worry about it. But every once in a while, it lifts his head. Uh, but I just thank and praise God for deliverance. Yes. For deliverance. Come on. For deliverance. For deliverance. For saving, for, for, for healing me. And the beautiful part about it, prophet just said to me, she said, um, your family is going to be delivered. My daughter was raised in church all her life. And because of what she saw, she didn't want nothing to do with God. I don't want nothing to do with God, mama. People don't live right. People don't do right. People don't whatever. She called me this morning and said she was going to church. Oh, oh God, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God Jesus. Turned that around. God, God turned it around, and I thank and praise God for that. And for me to stand here, it's nothing but the power of God for Come me on. to stand here. I couldn't do this, y'all. I couldn't stand here like this. Without a, without a device or something that I can lean on. And my back was, the, this, this is the, my back um, from the spinal stenosis. I was starting to lean forward like this when I walk. But look at here. I'm standing up straight. Look at you. Oh. I'm standing look up you. straight today. Go ahead, and I thank mama. God for that. I thank God and I give him the glory. And I, give, and I thank God for apostle. And I thank God for prophetess. And I thank God for this fiery altar. Because if it wasn't for this, I don't know what I would do. And one more thing, I told God, if you deliver me, if you heal me, wherever I go, 
Well, I don't care if it's in the, in, in, in the grocery store. I don't care if it's on the street. I don't care where it is. I'm going to tell about your goodness. And I'm going to tell people how you are a deliverer. Hey! And I just thank and praise God for that. And I just give God the glory and the honor. And thank you. My God. Hallelujah, oh, Jesus. my God. Come on, give God praise. Yes. Come on, honor the Lord. Amen for that testimony. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it was just so powerful. Amen. The prophetic ministry is here yes. not to embarrass you, but to expose the Ooh. devil. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once he is exposed, he has no more power Hallelujah. over your life. Amen. And so we give God praise for the power of the prophetic deliverance ministry that is setting entire families, entire families free, amen. So come on one more time. Come on, give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Back to you, Brother Ryan. Hallelujah. Testify. Good morning, believers faith. Good morning. Good morning. morning. I want to start by giving giving um, praises to my Lord and Savior. Yes. Um, I want to also thank you guys for this ministry. Uh, Pastor uh, Prophetess Nottage, Dr. Edison, I just thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to speak about a seed that I sold two years ago when you guys came to the Georgia uh, Hunger Center. So we were having hindrance with um, his schooling. We were getting a lot of no's. Um, it was really hard. Time was running out. And I sowed a seed because uh, Apostle said, just try something different. I did so. And he prayed for us. And three days later, we got an acceptance letter. Wow. Oh I'm, here to, I'm here to say that he is an up-and-coming junior. Um, the finances has been met. All has been well. And I know it's because of that seed and that prayer. Amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. I am looking forward to BMFOI Atlanta. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yes. Yes, oh, Atlanta Global. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. <laughs> Woo. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm the surrounding areas. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're so excited about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. We're going to continue now. Amen. We're at our in house testimony. Testimony. Give it unto God who's ahead of my life. I thank God for apostle and prophetess. I just thank God for this fire altar. I thank God how when I paid my, my pledge for my first fruit, I used to pay it on the first week of January. But I was like, Lord, I got to get it in before the 31st. And I, when I paid it, you know, I had been having my, these property taxes over my head. It's six, so I had six property taxes. And they usually, they like run like over $7,000. And on three of those properties, I was, they was inherited. But I want you to know that on Wednesday, and I also had put it on the altar. I had put it on the, the altar that I, I bought from this ministry. And on Wednesday, I went down and I said, well, you know, I got $750. I'm going to start paying on the city taxes. When I got there, where well, they used to be like over $1,000, I only had to pay like $333 for Jesus. all six of those properties. Woo! Hallelujah. So I say, well, I got over 400 and some dollars left so I can go down to the county and start paying on them. So when I went down to the county, you know, um, on one of the texts, I ca start calling out the address. She, they say, that one paid in full. I just went to shot and took I said, how they got paid in full? I said, that one usually be over $500. So I just thank God, hallelujah, that I had, I had uh, been fighting a claim also on the insurance that Prophet had on, top, with, had on Prophet side, you know, telling me about some leaks and stuff that I couldn't afford. But anyway, she was telling me some stuff. But anyway, the insurance was in my mother's name. I had no, I been paying it and paying it. And then they had no say, when I client filed it, they sent it in her name. And they said they had to send it in her name because she was the owner of the insurance. And so, but I had been fighting them since October. But on that same day, I said, well, let me stop by the post office. And that check was in there. So when I got down there to pay the counter tax, I had over enough, you know, it ended up, well, that usually be about, like, probably about $5,000. I ended up paying, like, $1,200 in all for the, all those texts. And I just thank God, it's because I'm connected to this altar. Come I'm on. connected to this ministry. Yes. And I just thank God for that. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. 
Mighty God. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Anybody else can use debt reduction? Oh, yes. What about debt cancellation? Hey, supernatural provision. <laughs> Hallelujah. Supernatural, amen. amen. And our apostle, he always teaches us, our prophet. Yes. So, amen. That's how you break the back of the enemy. Hallelujah. It's in your seed. So we give God praise, amen, for the laws of sowing and reaping. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We'll continue now with our in-house testimony. Testify. Hi, good morning, church. Excuse me. So happy Resurrection Sunday to everybody. Um, so I just want to testify about last night. So, what was that? Does anybody have a word for that? Because as educated as I am, and lyrical fit that I think that I am, me and my knees tried to come up with a word for what that was last night. Like, what happened in here? It was truly amazing. Like, it, it was just, it, but is that the word? Like, can I use that? Does that really describe what happened in here? I mean, who got touched last night? I, I just, but is that good enough? It's, I mean, supernatural is a great word, but does that truly describe the fire that my prophetess let loose in this place last night, that the Holy Spirit just took over the whole atmosphere? And, you know, my life has just been up and down for years. And, you know, God has been after me a long time. And... You know, you get to a point, you get to an age where you just have to step back and say, what is it? You know, with all the, you know, the, uh, the knowledge, with all the church, with all the, the miracles, you know, that you see around you. But yet, when you go back to your place, you know, and, and, and life goes on, right? It, you just, you go back into your own reality. And my reality you know, Prophetess mentioned something about atmosphere a while ago. You, get, you have to change your atmosphere. And, and so lately I've been asking God, what is it that is just tooth and nails for me? I've always believed in God. As a little girl, he's always showed himself to me. So I never doubted him. You know, I was actually spoiled by God, like my father, my, my earthly father spoiled me, and so has my heavenly father. So you get to this age where I guess because he always answered my prayer growing up, you just think that, oh, God's got me, you know? But then when you're a child, you act like a child, right? Your parents take care of you, they, they cover you, they do all these things, but there comes a point when they let you loose and say, that was up to you. And so for a while, you know, it was kind of like, God, you know, where you at? Like, I'm telling you, there was nothing that I could ask you for that he never gave me when I was young. And so I just expected that through my adulthood. So as I grew older and am growing older, it's changed. And I say, God, where are you? I, you, you know, it's, I don't feel you. You're not where you used to be in my life. But he has been. It's just, I just, as a grown woman, haven't stepped into what he has been molding me and loving me for and created me to do, you know, in my life. Amen. So, you get yourself to a point where you just get so, you just get so stuck in your, your sorrows and your, and your problems and your, and your everything that it sometimes it just becomes hard to test, to pray for yourself. Have you guys ever been in a place where it's just hard, where you don't even know what to say? There's no more excuses. There's no more, you know, it's, it's just, I don't even know what I even want to say. So I came here and I'm not going to lie. I didn't know Jesus. I'm coming down here. Hallelujah. You know, you need to do this. I need this. I want, you know, you know, fasting. You know, a lot of people, they, they, they fast before they come to something like this. You know, in expectation. I'm not going to lie. I didn't have the energy. I don't even know if I had the desire. I just, oh, I had the desire. But I was stuck. I was stagnated. I've been delayed for so long. Oh and I know that I have. Amen. And so, prophetess last night, she, I, before service started in the evening, I just said, Lord, you know, you got to do this. If you don't do it, it's just not going to get done. I, I, I do 
don't know what else to say. So anyway, I when she came up here, she started on this, and and she just started something just took over her, and she started throwing fire. So from right here on this end of the on the stage, she started boom, boom, and she was working her way all the way down to the other side of the stage. And so I knew, I said, okay, she's coming because I was sitting on that side. So I was like, all right. I'm, you know, I'm ready for this. She's coming with it. And when she got to the end of the stage, I swear she did some little, and then did this little matrix thing where she just, where she just, it was like a supernova. She just wrapped in a ball, like, and then flung it, wham, and it hit me. And I, well, I stood up and I just opened my hands because I, I saw her doing her thing. And then I just opened my hands. There was no one behind me. You know, I hit that floor. When she said, boom, I just, I just received it. I received it and, it, and, and I fell on the floor. Amen. And I stayed down there for most of the service. So I just want to say, oh, and I didn't honor, but I just want to say, Apostle, I love you. Prophetess, I love you. I thank you for what you guys have done for me, for my family. Yes. I thank you for praying for us when we couldn't pray for ourselves. You have treated us like your own family. And I thank you for loving us. Amen. I thank you for praying for us. Amen. I thank you for keeping us in, 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 in where we're supposed to be spiritually. And I just thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing for me. And I just, I just, I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Yes. All right. Okay. Amen. Well, come on, give God praise for a heart of gratitude. Amen. Hallelujah. If you stay long enough, you'll have your own experience, your own encounter, amen, with the Spirit of God. So we give God praise, hallelujah, for that testimony, amen. We're going to continue now with our in-house testimonies. Hallelujah. Good morning, believers. Good morning. I just want to give honor to God this morning for my life. I want to give God honor and praise for Apostle and the Prophetess. I love you and I respect you and I honor your office so highly this morning. God bless you. I just want to give my quick testimony about my healing deliverance. All right. God has been truly good. I came here. I was diagnosed last year with kidney disease, liver disease. I was diagnosed with blood disease. They, you know, said that my blood, I had some disease, uncurable disease in my blood. But thanks be to God, last night, uh, I know God has located me. Yes. He has found me. Yes. And I am delivered. I'm set free by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I just want to thank Prophetess. I just want to thank Apostle for being obedient, for taking the faith to come to Atlanta, Georgia. I just give God thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. And I continue continue to pray that God will continue to keep you both under his unfolding wings in Jesus name. Jesus name. Oh my God. It doesn't matter what the illness. Amen. Hallelujah. We learned about gates of healing on yesterday. Amen. Hallelujah. So we give God praise for that testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We'll go now. Amen. And continue with our in-house testimony. Testify. Testify. God, let's give God some thanks and praise for being in the house of the Lord on this resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. So, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. We give God who's the head of our lives. We give God thanks and praise for who's the head of our lives and the Holy Spirit for being our guide. And we also give honor, uh, love and respect to our prophetess and our apostle who are our spiritual parents. God bless you. God bless the ministry. So, um, let, me, let me step back a bit start. So we, we joined the ministry via the box about three years ago during the miracles at midnight. I know we all can remember that powerful time. Um, so last year when Prophetess went back to Bahamas for the first time since moving to uh, South Florida we had wanted to go to the Bahamas. Unfortunately we were unable to make it but my sister and my nephew went and they were located and delivered. Amen. Now my deliverance started since that time because when Prophetess was delivered, my sister she asked her who's in St. Lucia? I was in St. Lucia at that time. I was in St. Lucia at that time. Um, immediately we started to make arrangements around that time to come to South Florida 
and we made we made arrangements last year around the same time to be in South Florida. Now, unfortunately, well, not fortunately, because it still worked out. Glory to God. When time came near for us to fly down to South Florida, um, prophetess went back to the Bahamas. We tried to make arrangements to come to South Florida and get the ferry to go over to the Bahamas, which the days didn't coincide. So we called the ministry and um, we, we prayed for direction and the intercessor who prayed with us said, but you know apostle isn't going. So we came in faith, believing that we would get located because we've been in a relationship and we wanted to follow not only God, but um, also follow in the footsteps of our spiritual parents, uh, the apostle and the prophetess and live a righteous life being married. So we came to get deliverance in South Florida to, to get married, not to have a wedding, but to have a marriage grounded in God. Amen. So on the Friday night, um, it was our first time, and so we, we uh, stood up and said where we were coming from, and Apostle, we told him why we were there, and he said, so you all have the ring, you all want to do it now, and um, unfortunately there was no ring. So he said, I hope you all guys not leaving. Come back on Sunday. I want to pray for you all. So we came back on, on Sunday and it was powerful. We, we got a seat change. And when we were leaving um, home, she, she my, my fiance, said to me, I wonder if Apostle would look through this. I said, God would look through this. Um, Apostle started to pray for individuals. Um, said, who needs prayers? Who needs prayers? So the first person went up. The second person went up. And Apostle turn and called us to be the third so he prayed for us and delivered us and that's when our journey to life change started our lives have never been the same and apostle i walked in obedience i walked in obedience and all right all right all right oh yes come on ladies come on y'all don't hate celebrate <laughs> so obedience following the will of God and we definitely got engaged and awaiting the, the wedding. So fast forward to uh, the, 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 se the third of this month, I had a dream that I was in the sanctuary and I spoke to a gentleman and he was questioning me whether about deliverance is real. And I said, it's real. He said, I think people can control their deliverance. And I said, no, nah, you can't. And prophetess in the sanctuary, in my dream, delivered him, and delivered me. And we had no control over what was taking place. And I was telling him after, you see? That was, so that was the, the second or the third of March. Fast forward, we got up the next day on the morning, a six o'clock powerful prayer. And that morning, I, I actually went on to the wrong link by accident, but God has no accidents. That morning during testimony, prophetess asked for a meal to yes. testify yes. and I gave a testimony of a lump that I had on my hand yes. that had disappeared through the use of the Engedi oil and prophetess calling praying out for lumps now prophetess could have listened to my testimony and moved on but she said I want to pray for you and prophetess started to pray for me and started my deliverance on the 3rd or the 4th of March by breaking chains over my life ancestral curses from not, not being able to be married in my generation that's right so immediately after that, she said, you know, call. She, she asked, what happened? Why are you all not married? And she's like, no, call the call center. Let's make arrangements with apostles for some engagement for, for you all. So we did that immediately. Um, and we were awaiting feedback. I got up the, other, the next day and I'm like, what should we do? What should we do? Because they announced that they were coming to Atlanta. What, what should we do? Three days went by. We didn't you know, get any feedback. And I said, I think we should. And we called the call center and got, we, we asked for prayers for direction. And we didn't know how we were going to do it because we had made arrangements to go back to South Florida in May for the, the women's conference, which is also the week, weekend of my birthday. And the, the rest is history. I am here because of a miracle. I am here because of a miracle. And Prophetess finished that deliverance yesterday. She finished that deliverance Amen. yesterday. I know you all were here. Glory to God. So. I was praying yesterday, praying, believing God for location, praying for my family, praying for everything. My eyes was closed and I was praying and prophetess was calling everything that was my situation. 
I had to open my eyes because I thought it was me. It was a gentleman in front of me, but it resonated with me and what I was going through. And I claimed it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, prophetess prayed for him and walked off. And I was still praying. I looked at prophetess walk away. And she stopped and she asked, who is Cordell? Now, the name that I'm known by in the ministry, even on 6 a.m. prayer, is Michael O'Michael, which is also my father's name. Now, to show you how God is precise, prophetess prayed for me. So the chances are that she might remember Michael. She might remember Michael. She remember us from, for praying for us on 6 a.m. prayer. But my documented government name, prophetess doesn't know. It's Cordell. Come on. It's Cordell. Woo! Hallelujah. So yesterday, prophetess delivered me from witchcraft, from delay, from, from torment in my dreams. And I am delivered yes. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I could go on and on with testimonies, but I want to condense them for respect for time. Just, I just want everyone to know the altar of fire is real. I want everybody to know that the favor of God that is on my life, or on our lives, is unprecedented. Even when we were coming, I had a, a, a regular ticket, and I was standing in a regular line. I was called out to board priority. Uh -huh. I was called out to board priority. Upgrade, upgrade. Good morning, saints of God. My name is Emily, and I'm from the island of St. Lucia. And I'm just going to give two quick testimonies again in the interest of time. Uh, so to follow up on his testimony, uh, my manager would have called me at the end of February and said, I have something for you. So when I went to her, she gave to me a plane ticket. And I could go anywhere that American Airlines travels to. So I said, what am I going to do with the plane ticket? And at that time, we were praying for direction as to whether or not we're going to come to Atlanta or go to uh, South Florida in May. And uh, I called American Airlines and the rep said to me, the only time I can get would be the 27th of March to return on the 3rd of April, which coincides with the fire revival. Jesus. I couldn't get before, I couldn't get after. This is the only time that I could have gotten. So we called and we prayed and we're like, this is a sign we're going. And Prophetess located us on the 4th of March on the 6 a.m. prayer. She located me on the 7th, that Thursday, again on 6 a.m. And the following week, she located me again. So I'm like, this is where I need to be. Come on. This is where I need to be this weekend. And so I am just super grateful that I'm here. I'm super grateful for this ministry and the work that Prophetess and Apostle continues to do. And lastly, I, we started our, we built our home when we applied for the mortgage in 2022. We got the approval and we're ready to go. And the contractor says that there are some adjustments that need to be made. And those adjustments is an, it would be an expansion and it's going to cost us $119,000. And that's in addition to the already existing mortgage that we have. And uh, we were like, okay, where are we going to get $119,000? So we fasted and we called the call center and we prayed and we sowed into this ministry and we just continued to pray to ask for supernatural uh, debt cancellation or just God to make a way for us because we don't know where we're going to get $119,000. So we requested a meeting with the contractor and we went to the meeting and when we got there, the gentleman said to us that, well, it's 119, but we're not going to do it for 90. We're not going to do it for 80. We're going to complete the adjustment for only $50,000. Oh, Jesus. So we thank God. Oh, we Jesus. thank God. Hallelujah. And we know it's because of our connection to this fiery altar. We know it's because of our connection to this apostle and the prophetess. We thank you. We thank you, God, for, God, for them. And we thank God for this entire ministry, the call center workers who continually praise with us all the time. Brother Ryan right here. So we thank God for all of you. God bless Apostle. God bless Prophetess. Thank you so much. Oh, In come Jesus on, give God name. praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, come on, give God praise. Yes. Everybody on your feet. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, let us honor the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, give him praise. Yes. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. He continues to move in the lives of his people. Oh, yes. And he continues.
continues to prove himself faithful to us. Amen. Are you grateful for your God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are so grateful for all of those testimonies. And we cover each and every one of you under the blood of Jesus. Jesus. But we're going to continue now with our Believer's Faith experience. Yes. Our media department has prepared a video presentation Amen. just showing some of what's been happening, some of what you can expect. Amen. So without any further ado, a video presentation by our media department. discern your visitation have you not seen the visible presence of God in your midst this is fire revival America coming to a city near you we are about our father's business no matter where you are we will find you winning the lost at any cost no distance, there's no barrier that can stop God. But don't worry, we're just getting started. My life is changing. It begins now. It begins now. I'm in the season of change. I'm in the season of I'm change. I'm in the season of change. I'm in the season of I'm change. I'm in the season of resurrection I'm in the power. Of breakthrough. Let the same power yes. that resurrected oh, yes. Jesus from the yes. dead. Yes, sir. Let that power <laughs> come in operation yes, sir. in my life. Yes, sir. Let the resurrection power yes, come in operation. Hey. In my life. Yeah. I came to deliver this weekend. Can I find some people that came to be delivered this weekend? Can I find some people that say enough is enough? Am I talking to somebody? Can I find somebody that say enough is enough? I'm finished with that. You must lose me. You must lose me. I came here to be delivered and I got what I wanted. My friend called the call center for me one day and I had a mass in my lungs and when they went to do a PET scan on my body, they, it could not be found. I'm so excited for what Prophet has done so far. So I'm just thinking a mighty, mighty move of God. Prophet is an apostle has exposed me to like witchcraft, you know, astral project, all these things I didn't know existed until I connected myself here. Hi, I'm Santana. I'm coming all the way from the Carolinas. I'm so excited about Apostle and Prophets being here. Today I believe in God. It's my first day for the fire revival. I believe in God to move in this place. It's been amazing here at the fire revival in Atlanta. The power of God has moved tremendously. He has been showing his mighty power throughout these past couple of days. I just want to thank God for what he's doing in the lives of the apostle and the prophetess, you know. As a young person, I could, been, I could have been anywhere else, but I choose to be in the house of the Lord. And we received our healing in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> shall vomit you out in the name of Jesus the fish shall vomit you out the earth shall vomit you out every sickness that's in your body 
that's not supposed to be there. I command it from it out. Every last one of you, put your hands on your stomach. Put your hands on your stomach. Put your hands on your belly. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I see the fire. The oh God of our center. The gates of fire. The gates of fire. The gates of fire. Rise up. Rise up. In the realm of the spirit, you gates of fire, rise up everywhere. There's somebody that has been attacked by witches, attacked by warlocks, attacked by Sangomas, attacked by generational altars, attacked by familiar spirit. In the name of Jesus, put your hands upon your stomach. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire, yeah, 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 yeah. fire, yeah, 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 yeah. fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, wherever you are, you are clean spirit, you are clean spirit, from it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody, just stand to your feet. Let's honor God. Let's honor God. Let's honor God. Hallelujah. Let's just honor our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and honor God. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, lift your hands and just honor our God. Hallelujah. This is Resurrection Sunday. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, Resurrection Day. And when you think back to what God has done for us, I mean, he sent his son into the world to die just so that we may have life. Amen. And to give us a chance to be able to be redeemed back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we just wanted, to, wanted you to stand just to honor our God today. And give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could, could you open your mouth and give him praise? Hallelujah. Some of you looking, but you only open your mouth and give him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let a sound come out of your mouth. If you can't hear yourself, you ain't saying nothing. You should at least be able to hear your own self. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and honor God. Honor God. Honor God. Give him thanks. Give God thanks for what he did. Some 2,000 plus years. Give him thanks for what he did for us. Hallelujah. Some of y'all still ain't moved y'all mouth yet. I rebuke rebellion. I rebuke stubbornness. Hallelujah, I rebuke laziness, tiredness. Whatever's stopping you from opening your mouth, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout! Hallelujah! 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 Come on and praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him honor, we give him glory, we give him praise, we give him thanks. Just touch the poison on the side of you. Say, I don't know if you know it, but God has been good to you. Maybe you don't know it yet, but God has been good to you. And the reason why I say maybe you don't know it yet is because I don't like the way you're giving God praise right now. Because God has been so good that you ought to be jumping and shouting and praising. Hallelujah. 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 He's been so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. So good, so good. So good. No, don't, don't go there, Minister Chris. Don't go there, keyboard players. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we, we got we to gotta get a long way to go and a short time to do it. I pray ain't nobody got no flight to catch today. Please don't have no flight to catch. 
All right, we can, we can, we can try. Get you out in, in good time, but we got a lot to do. Hallelujah. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. All right, all right. We're going to get back to that. They're going to get it together. Hallelujah. But we honor God. We honor God. We honor God. Hallelujah. We praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch your boys and just ask them, how you doing? How you doing? Have you been blessed? Ask them, have you been blessed already? Didn't we have a powerful time in God? Anybody was here Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, and now you're here today? Hallelujah. Didn't we have a powerful move of God? Hallelujah. Didn't God do what he said he was going to do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I mean on last night, people were walking out of wheelchairs. Walking, pushing their walker aside. Leaving their walker behind. Leaving their cane and throwing it to the side. And walking, running, 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 running. Hallelujah. The power of God touched down in this place on last night. Oh, what a move of God. Oh, what a, you know, I think we forget about the miracles too quick. We're so quick to want to, we want to move on to the next thing. We don't take time to appreciate what God did yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't forget. Tell the boys on the side, you don't forget now. Don't never forget where God brought you from. Songs so every now and then you got to roll back the curtains of memories. Hallelujah. Got to remember where he brought you from and where you could have been. Hallelujah. Remember where God brought you from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They used to sing a song uh, in, in the Bahamas. Lord, I remember when Picky Head was Picky Head. Now they call it an Afro. Hallelujah. You look at some of these boys on the camera, you know what they're talking about. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't forget when you, when you had picky hair. Hallelujah. Now you got on some nice hair. Curly hair. Hallelujah. Come on, God has been good. Oh, y'all, I ain't going to go there, but y'all don't make me go there. Hallelujah. Don't send for me. Don't send for me because I come in. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. God has been good. What, what, what perm and all those things couldn't fix? Peruvian hair fix. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, y'all used to be, I remember my sisters them used to be getting, have the, uh, have the uh, hot comb, hot, hot comb. You know, don't want to put it on the stove. Anybody know about that? Put it on the stove and heat it up. Man, and my mother would be there on Zoom, and every time, once in a while, she tipped her ass, and they say, ah! <laughs> and then when you see them the next day, they got a big scar on their burning scar. Hallelujah. The price that people were willing to pay to get a look. Hallelujah. So God has brought us. We ain't got to do that no more. We call it 60 seconds. We got 60 seconds now. You could go in the closet and come out transformed. In 60 seconds. My God, you look like a brand new person. Look where God has brought us from. And you all to come up and you're acting like you don't want to give God praise. You better give God praise. Hallelujah. You better praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's been too good. He's been too good. Hallelujah. Man, when you walk in that house, you know hair was getting burnt. <laughs> Hallelujah. Straighten, straighten, they call it. Woo. Smoke. Ah, that was the days of Royal Crown. Anybody remember that? And Dax. Dax Greeks, Royal, Royal Crown. Put that in the hair and you put that comb while you hear. Smoke going up. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. That's why some of y'all have no hair right now. <laughs> but God is still good. Amen. Amen. And so we honor God. Amen. We give God praise. Oh, yes, God. So tell the person on the side, you don't forget, don't forget where God brought you from. Never forget. Never forget. Hallelujah. Every now and then you got to tell it to your children. Hallelujah. Where God brought you from. They can appreciate it. They seeing you today and everything looking good. But they ain't know your story. Hallelujah. They ain't know where God brought you from. Hallelujah. Many of us back then, many of y'all didn't know what makeup was. Lipstick. That was, that was, that was Vaseline grease. Vaseline grease on your lip was lipstick. You didn't know nothing but these things but they put in the thing and turn up now. You didn't know but them back there. Hallelujah. Thank God for that Vaseline. The time you come out of the room, your lips shining. Tick. More lips, more, more Vaseline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We have Pastor McKinsey. I know she could help me preach with that. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Uh, Mom, you could help me preach with that. You should know with that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I remember as boys, as little boys, you know, we couldn't even play. We couldn't go in the yard with our clothes on. We used to be in the yard with underpants. Keep your clothes to go to church. Keep your good pants to go to church. You had to run around in the yard in your underpants. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God those days over. Amen. Hallelujah. So God has brought us from a mighty long way. And I just wanted to remind you so you, so you don't forget. And so we started on Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night. To, and we came back here today. And just to show you how good God is, even before we finish the day, he has already extended. Hallelujah. He has already extended. And so now we have moved all the way. After the day, we will be, hallelujah, right in Georgia, right in Atlanta on Friday the 5th. Hallelujah. Friday the 5th. I hope they can put that uh, information up on the screen behind me. Hallelujah. Many people didn't hear it last night. Sorry, uh, those of you that were on streaming, we went off before we made that announcement on last night. Hallelujah. So Friday the 5th, it's for every, tell, tell the person inside you, it's for Atlanta, Georgia, and everybody. All of you in the surrounding areas. And all of you who could make it here on Friday. The only thing is, you have to register early please our limitations the amount of seats that they gave that the flat the hotel has do they have the information up behind me can you all see it hallelujah they can you lift the address because the stage is sort of blocking the address on this one hallelujah but it's 7514 for 75 14th street Northeast Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. It's at the Atlanta Four Seasons Hotel. Amen? And that is for next Friday, or Friday coming, the 5th. Amen? Friday coming, the 5th. Hallelujah. So you, if you got to go back, go do what you got to do and be back. Register early. Once you register early and we go over the number, then we can make some adjustments, try to make some adjustments. But if you can't wait until the last minute to register, amen? But you want to be a part of what God is doing. We had a powerful time and we know it's just going to get better and better and better and better and better and better. Hallelujah. So this week on Wednesday, we will be online. Online. I, where, where are some of y'all to be when we online? Some of y'all don't be online. Or oh, y'all is be on another line. We want y'all on our line. Amen? 
So tune in, Mighty Knowledge TV. Hallelujah. And we will be online with our prayer again this week. Then on Friday, hallelujah, we will be right here. Not here, but at the Four Seasons in Atlanta. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we look forward to seeing those of you that will make it, that will uh, register. Go ahead and get in the registration. Believe it or not, after last night, we almost maxed out. So if you haven't registered yet, get online. I don't know if they have any more of the flyers in the back there. For those of you that didn't get a flyer, we can give it to you. Hallelujah. But whatever you do, register. I'm telling you because if you just show up like some of you like to do, you're going to be in for a shock. And you know, when you're dealing with the hotels, you know, they're going to have their people and when they say that thing is full, they ain't going to let nobody else in. Amen? Just like I want to apologize to some of you that had trouble finding parking. Amen? Because some when the parking is full, they create no more parking space. Amen? Hallelujah. And so they, you have to go and elsewhere and look for parking. Amen? But that's why we believe in God that very soon we will have our own grounds, our own hall. Hallelujah. So you will be accommodated. So, Florida, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't forget y'all. We'll be back in Florida next week, Sunday. We'll be back in Florida. Hallelujah. So we're not, we're not dropping Florida just like we didn't drop the Bahamas. Amen. The Bahamians, we still, we still staying in tune. We just working out some things, amen? Some schedules. Hallelujah. And so we will be, be we are believing God that after next week Friday, we want to have weekly services right here in the Atlanta area. <laughs> weekly services. So we are just working on location, of course, some place that, you know, we can't just, you know, hotels are, it's hard to keep because... You got, you know, other people doing events. So sometimes the hall is taken so you can't get a hall or the hall that you want. Amen? So we believe in God for building. Amen? That we can do weekly services. And we are looking at either me and prophetess or me or prophetess in the beginning will be the every one of those weekly services. So we, if... Two of us are here. If not, one will be in Florida. One will be in Atlanta. But we are looking to launch the Atlanta branch. Anybody ready for that? And so, I don't know. I think Alabama is not too far. Well, it's not too far from this area. North Carolina is not too far. Huh? What did she say? Tennessee is not too far. Oh, I didn't know that. Tennessee is not too far. Three are okay. That's good. Short drive. Hallelujah. Not too far. Hallelujah. So wherever you are that's close by, you can come and be a part of what God is doing here. So look how God is cutting down. You don't have to go all the way to Florida. The, those that are closer to Florida will come to Florida. Those that are closer here will come here. Amen. Come on and give God praise. Thank you, see. 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 Hallelujah. And so we honor God. We honor God. We honor God. And so we're getting ready for hallelujah after the day. But tell the person on the side of you, the day is not over yet. There's still so much more to come. So we give God praise. Hallelujah. This is Resurrection Sunday. So did you all send the link out? If you have not sent out the link, send it out, send it out. Invite people to join us online. Now, you know, a lot of people have gotten confused and they have, they have Resurrection Sunday and Easter Sunday mixed up. Amen? You know, Easter Sunday deals more with the bunny and the eggs. But Resurrection Sunday don't have nothing to do with bunny. Nothing to do with Easter egg and Easter egg hunt. So there's a lot of places, even churches, they around, instead of having a service today, they're having an Easter egg hunt. Could you believe this? 
on the day that Jesus was resurrected, some churches, they are having an Easter egg hunt. Come on. Uh-uh. They have nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is a sacred day. Hallelujah. And so we can't allow people to contaminate this. Amen. This is re That's why I like to keep it as resurrection Sunday, not Easter Sunday. Hallelujah. Because the world likes to contaminate what God has done or is doing. And I don't want the world to contaminate it. Amen. And so as we get ready to receive our offering, we have our dancers getting ready to come. Hallelujah. Then we have communion that we're going to be getting to in a short, in short order. But I just want to remind you that you have a say. You have a say in the matter. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 and 21, life and death is in the power of where? It's in the power of where? And it's in the power of what? Y'all talk to me. I can't hear y'all. I should be, all of y'all out there, y'all should be louder than me. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Your life and your death is in the power of your tongue. You have a say in the matter. And you saw those people on last night as they testified on this morning. They were sharing how they just made up in their mind that they was coming to this revival and they was not going to leave the same way they came. And so they, they are leaving. Some of them came in the wheelchair. They are leaving walking without the wheelchair, without the push, without the cane. Hallelujah, they are leaving healed. You got to make up in your mind that you, even though this may be the last service in this session, you're not leaving the same way you came. Because you have a say in the matter. You have a say in what goes on in your life. You decide if you're going to be free. You decide if you're going to be blessed. Amen? But what, what are you deciding for yourself? What are you saying about yourself? Do you believe? You know, uh, Jesus in Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9 and 29, Jesus was walking. And these two blind men came to Jesus Hallelujah. If you read from verse uh, maybe 27, they say, have mercy on us, son of God. And when he had gone indoors, the blind man came to him and he asked them, do you believe that I am able to do this? They went to Jesus asking him to restore their sight. Jesus turned to them and said, do you believe that I am able to do this. And that's the question. It's not a matter of what Jesus could do. Because we already know what Jesus can do. Do you believe it? Do you believe that he can heal you? Do you believe that he can change your story? Amen. Do you believe that he can bless you? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe like that lady testified. She, she gave I think she said the last $2 that she had and put it on the altar. Don't get hung up on the $2. Some of you say, oh, I can put $2 and try that. No, no. You miss, you miss it. You miss it. You miss it. Just like the ladies with the, what we call the widow's mic. You miss it. It wasn't that she gave that mic. That was all she had. She, she gave, she was willing to give everything that she had. And then when she gave that, Jesus said, listen, this woman give more than all of y'all. Even though it was only a penny as we call it. It was only a penny. But she, she was willing to give everything that she had. Amen? Amen? So if you believe that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek. If you believe that if you give it to God, he will give it back to you. So now you will get a seed in your hand. And you're going to release that seed. Hallelujah into God's hand and believe that he is going to reward you and that he is going to bless you. Hallelujah. He's going to reward you and he is going to bless you. Amen. You are, you are, the ushers are coming through and you can get your, if you need an envelope, if you haven't gotten it, then look up and wave one of them down. Now, in Luke, 9, Luke 10 and 19, he said, behold, I give you power 
So the powers are new. In Deuteronomy, say, I give you the ability to create wealth. It's in you. You got to use the power that God has given to you. Amen? You could sit on the side and you can make excuses. Ain't nothing will happen to you. You could sit there and try, hallelujah, rationalize and figure out if this work. Ain't nothing will ever, will ever happen for you. Only when you step in and do what God commands you to do, that's when you will begin to see the blessings of Almighty God. Amen? So y'all ready to give? Y'all get your envelope. Let's stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Those of you that still doing your thousand or more seed and you want to put it in my hands, if you want to, you can come and you can put it in my hands. If you're doing the thousand or more seed, you can put it into my hand. Thousand or more. The rest of you, the ushers will direct you and show you how. Hallelujah. Which way to go to release your seed. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, I release success. The power to get wealth in Jesus' name and success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bless her. Release blessings and success upon our life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shatar ribos rebosko. Shakandir rebosi katalara. Shatarara baska. Blessings, success. In Jesus' mighty name. Shande de de bosho koto rebosi yanda. Shiketelele de de bosho to. We release it now. Blessings and success. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Ashes halarara rabande de de bosko. One of the ushers come. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, I release it upon him now. Blessings and success. In Jesus' name. Shakalala da da bosanda. Rebeke shotororo bosanda. Rebeke shanda. We release it. No, 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 Blessings. Success upon her. Help her, help her. Hallelujah. 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 Go on, ushers. You can start. You can let the other ones come. Father, we release it now upon a blessing. Success in the name of Jesus. Ribando Roboskoto. Rebeke Shandoroboski. Rabasata. Blessing. Success in the name of Jesus. Rebeke Shoto. Rabande Lelebosko. Father, we release upon her now. Blessings. Success in the name of Jesus. Rebando Roboskoto, Rebeke Soto, Rebeke Shondo Robosco, Rabba Kashanda, Lakata, blessings and success in the name of Jesus. Rebeke Shondo, Yeketo Rodobos, Rabande de Debosita, Rebeke Shetereboso, Rebeke Shan. Blessings and success in the name of Jesus. Rebeke Shoto. Rabanda de 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 Shiti. Rabba Shakanda de 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 Shakitabo. Blessings. Success in the name of Jesus. Jekendo de 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 Bosoto. Rebebe Bebeshi. Rebebe de 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 Bosco. Ire de 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 Sata. Jekendo de 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 Bosunda. Father, we release blessings, success in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Bring them around. Bring them around. Shake it to the bus. Shande de 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 bus. Rebe vacation. Bring them. Shake it. Rebe. We release blessings and success in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rebe vacation. Rabanda, we release blessings and success in the name of Jesus. Shake it, de de bush. Rebe be 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 she. Rebanda la 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 busko. Shake it, de 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 blessings, success upon our life in the name of Jesus. Blessings and success in Jesus' name. Shake it, de 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 blessings and success in the name of Jesus. Rabande shake it, Rebe ke shake it, touch. Touch blessings and success in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Come on and give your seeds. 
Praise him. You can go ahead and worship. Hallelujah. 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 All right, and then we're going to prepare for communion right after. After you give your offering, we're going to prepare for communion. Come on, let's worship as we give. In the name of Jesus, touch blessings on success upon your life in Jesus. Lord, I love seeing your praise. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you came to show from the earth. My bless her right now with Jesus. She get the devotion. Whoa. From the earth. My from the cross, from the grave, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my I'm so glad you came to save us. You came in from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. From the cross, the from, the cross the from the grave. Lord, I lift you there. Whoa. Ship it to the wonder. Bless her now, God. Success in our life. In Jesus' name. From the grave. Heaven to from the earth, my you came from her to show from the my from the cross from the grave to the sky. Take that one. Oh, Pastor Sharon, yes, Pastor Sharon. Come on, y'all sing, sing, sing.
from the mind, from the cross, from the breath. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to prepare and we want to go into this time of communion. Now, it's important that you know that the communion is you don't have to be a member of this church to partake in the communion. But you must be a born again child of God. You must be a member of the body of Christ. You must be a member of the kingdom of God. Amen? And so, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not a disciple, Sister Karen, come. But Minister Karen, come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was that you're trying to hide? Huh? You don't want me to see all that money. <laughs> Just got a plate. <laughs> Hallelujah. And go right down. Right down the next, on the side, further down from Brother Jonathan. Right there. Right by the speaker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be a, a, a member of the body of Christ. A disciple of God. Now the word teaches in Corinthians that if you take part of this communion and you're not it can be dangerous to you. It can bring sickness and it can even bring death. If you, if you partake of the communion without being a member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Without being a born again Christian. Now if you are a born again Christian and you take part in it, it, can bring, it will bring healing to your body. Hallelujah. The blood washes away all the sin. His body was bruised and broken just for you. And so, if you are a born-again Christian, then you are welcome to take part in what we are doing on the day. The communion. This is in remembrance of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. This is in remembrance of this season that we, season that we are celebrating right now. His death, his burial, and his resurrection. That's why we do this. And he commanded us. And he says, often as you do it, he never gave you a specific time or times when you can do it. But he says, often as you do it, do it in remembrance of my death, my burial, my resurrection. Do it in remembrance of what I did for you. He took our place. He went to the cross. He he endured the joining to the cross and everything that he had to do. People spat on him and beat him and ridicule him. He endured all of that just for us. Amen. And so we do this today to remember what Jesus did for us on the cross. And we will never forget and we will never stop doing it. Hallelujah. We will never stop doing it. And we will never allow it to become common. Don't allow it to become common. Because what Jesus did, no man, el no man ever gave their life for you. Amen? I don't think nobody in here could say they had somebody that gave their life. Or is even willing to give their life. They may say it. But when it comes time to actually doing it, it's a whole different thing. But Jesus did that. He came, as a matter of fact, he came with one purpose. When he came, when his father, when God sent Jesus into the world, he sent him on a mission that he was going to die so he could redeem mankind back to himself. He came on that mission. Hallelujah. And so today we do it in remembrance. And so we're going to give you, as the ushers instruct you, you're going to come. We're going to ask you to take, partake from the Hallelujah, the baskets that they are holding. Get your stuff, your ornaments ready, but don't partake. We will all do that together. Get them ready for, for taking. As you get it, you go back to your seats, you get it ready, and then we will all do it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, ushers, I, I let them begin to come. Hallelujah. Let them receive. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, right? Just come. Just follow. Follow. Just follow. She started. Go right back here, Sister Queen. You don't got to go all the way. We're going to save time today. Hallelujah. Just go right back to your seats.
Just make a circle and go right back to your seat. Don't go all the way to the back. Hallelujah. Make a circle and go right back to your seat. Then the next row, everybody come out on one side. Everybody go back on one side. That's where we'll avoid problems. Everybody on that aisle, come out on one side and go back on one side. Hallelujah. 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 There you go. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you took them. I 
God, you thought of me. Shake it, rabba, rabba, shake it. Whoa, cruise me, Lord. Lay. Yes, you live. Reject it. Like a rose. Oh, trample. You took it. And you thought of me. Above all. Say it one more time. Cruise by. You lay. Rejected like a rose on the ground. You took and you taught of me. Oh, above, above, above all. Like a rose, like a rose. You took the fall and you thought of me above all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Like a rose. I'm going to ask the service to come, 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 come. Hallelujah. You took the fall. Thought of Above all, like a rose, trample. Yeah, you took the you took the fall. Shikita rabasata, shabande de 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 boskoto, shakata la 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 de boskoto do do boske. Aha, it was like a rose. You took and thought of me above all. Hallelujah. Now we're going to ask you to get your little white piece of wafer in your hands. Hallelujah. This is in remembrance of his body that was broken and bruised just for us. And so on the day, the Bible says before he was about to be crucified, he sat with his disciples and he took the bread and he held, he held it up to his father. Come on, hold it up. And he said, Father, bless, bless this bread. Shabandi robos guitarra basike turmis and bless this wafer that we do that we take today in remembrance of your body that was broken and bruised for us. Bless it in Jesus' name. You may take off that wafer. Our bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shekabanda rabosikite Shabara rara bashande de de bosi yondoro de bosi todo de boska And in like manner he took the cup and he held it up he said this represents the new testament of your body Without the shedding of blood there will be no more forgiveness of sin Father bless this juice that we take in remembrance of your blood that was shed, we thank you. We will never forget what you did for us on the cross. And as we partake today, let there be healing. and Let there be deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 
Let's go ahead and take of the cup. Hallelujah. Come on and give God praise. Come on. Hallelujah. But the blood of Jesus what can make me whole you can pass your cup down to the end and they will take it back gentlemen you can move the table nothing but the blood of Jesus oh precious precious that makes Why? No. Nothing. Oh, precious. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and give God praise. Come on and praise Him. Come on and praise Him. Come on and praise. Come on, let's bless the name. Give Him praise. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. There's power in the blood. 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 Yeah. Oh, the blood. Healing in the blood. There is healing in the blood. Oh, Jesus. There is healing in the blood. Sing it like you believe it. Sing it like you believe it today. There is healing in the blood. Oh, Jesus. It wash it. Check. Deliverance in the blood. Oh, oh there's deliverance in the blood. Oh, there's deliverance of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It washes. Washes. What? There's salvation. In the blood, huh? oh, there's salvation of Jesus. There's salvation of Jesus. It washes white as Come on, if you believe that, open your mouth and shout, Hallelujah! 
Open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the blood. Come on now, let's put our hands together as we get ready to welcome our dance team, hallelujah, who is coming to minister to us. And then we will receive prominent doctor, mighty knowledge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance, dance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, let's pray till they start dancing. Pray and pound. Shake it, 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 Hallelujah, shake it and 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 Ala la 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 bosque Je de de de
language again. 
Bless your mind and speak his language.
Yeah. 